Hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Divine Angelic God in 717, and I am here today to do our Divine Feminine reading. Hi, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculines out there that are watching as well. I welcome you all to my channel today, um, all my soul tribe and my divine tribers. If you're new, welcome. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We are going to get the Divine Feminine reading done today. If you guys have any questions, everything's down in the description box as far as pricing, booking, and even our P.O. box for trinkets and things that you want to send for the channel. Um, other than that, please like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification link so you guys can be notified when I update and put the upload videos for you, okay? I'm enjoying. I love you all. I'm so thankful for everything. I'm appreciative of everything that you guys give, send, and Bless upon our channel, okay? And I love giving the messages and guiding you guys on your journey. It helps me too. It's for all of us, okay? Let's get started. Spirit guides, ancestors of light, please give me some overall energies. What do we have for Divine Feminine for the week? What are Divine Feminine energies for the week, Spirit? Guys, oh, they're saying rest and rejuvenation, Divine Feminine. There's a need for rest. You guys have been... And that makes sense because a lot of you guys have done your work and that's been very strenuous when it comes to your energy, when it comes to draining. I can relate to that. I resonate there. Um, this, this, doing, when you're actually doing your work and going through the process and following your light path, you become drained spiritually, emotionally, physically from all of the things that you have been doing on your path. When you've been walking this journey, this journey's not easy. To become a divine feminine and to actually live in that light. Mm -hmm. Goddess of the moon in reverse. There's a secret that's about to be revealed to you, divine feminine. Something's about to come out that you guys were not expecting. Something that you have not been. You probably knew it intuitively, but there's something that you didn't know that's about to be revealed. Okay? We don't know about who yet. Let's keep it moving so we can find that out. I'm going to just over just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Door to personal healing and happiness, Divine Feminine. So you guys got the door to personal healing and happiness open for you. You guys have been healing, and now it's time to walk through the door to happiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Door to personal healing and happiness. is the Because a lot of people are afraid of healing. But one thing they don't know from taking from me, somebody who went through there, I did all my dark shadow work. I've done, it was very draining. It was very painful. It was very hurtful. But the reward, the happiness after, I'm just beginning that and it's beautiful. Trust me, guys, it's worth it. And all of you that have done it are about to reap that reward because the door is not open for you to walk through and receive your rewards. Mm -hmm. Look, no longer, no, not, you're no longer indecisive about things. You know exactly what's about to, which, where you want to go and what you want to do. And once the secret is revealed, you're going to, you're going to walk through your door to happiness and healing. Cause we, we never stop healing guys. There's always healing to be done. And you're not going to be questioning anything when you make that decision to walk through that door. Mm -hmm. Yes. Divinely guided. Whew, yeah, spirit guys, and that's the light. Give me some more energies when it comes to divine feminine. What do we need to tell our divine feminine for the week? What can we give our ladies and our gentlemen for the week? Spirit guys, ancestors of light, please give me some more energies for divine feminine for the week. There's about to be some justice served. You were treated unfairly in a situation, and there's about to be a, a reveal of why. Justice is about to be served for you. Mm -hmm. There's about to be some action taken towards you, or you're about to take action towards something else in your life. Mm -hmm. But something was imbalanced, and you were treated unfairly, and now justice is about to be served in that situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, action is being taken, which means you're ready to take action. But the universe is also taking action, guys. Whoever treated you unfairly, whoever it is, and it could be many people, they are now, and the spirit is taking action on them reaping that, yes. And, and now they can't move. There's the action. What did I say? The universe is taking action. I see it now, spirit. I see it. I see it. I see it. For all of you guys that were done wrong, okay? This is what we got. This is the universe, okay? Universal law. Universal law. It's taking action. Cause and reversals. So whoever has been doing dark magic on you guys, whoever has been causing you delays in your life, whoever's been doing things to stall you, I don't give a damn if it's just an evil eye. They will be reaping the reversals in their life. Mm -hmm. While you walk through your door to personal healing and happiness. The secret. Now I see. Whoo, Jesus. Yes, I felt it. Now I see clearly what this message is, y'all. Oh, my God. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, made me emotional. You guys are about to have to rest, Divine Feminine. After the secret is revealed of who has stalled your door to happiness, you're not going to have to question moving forward away from this situation that's unbalanced, this injustice that was done to you. You guys are about to be, it's about to be revealed who these people are and it's going to hurt you to where you're going to have to rest. Whew, yeah. And, and, and what they do is, is there's no victory in it. There's reversals. These people are about to reap their karma mm -hmm, for their jealousy. And they're still going to have to watch you shine and watch you grow. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on here, Divine Feminine. Wow, Spirit. Thank you for that clear message. My higher power, my Lord God, thank you. I asked for it to be a channel for you guys. These people are about to reap karma. That's what's going on here. We have the, that's why the contract is in reverse. Somebody, they're about to reap karma. And the universe is the one that's taking action on these people. That's what's taking action. Mm-hmm. On comics. Yep. People who have been unjust to you and who have been keeping you blocked from your past. Yep. I'm just going to show you guys what fell out. It all fell out. Blossom abundance in reverse. They will lose finances. Their strategies will not work. Whoever kept you away from your family or a, a connection that was your ten of cups will have to watch you with that. That will be their karma. They will have financial constraints. They cannot move forward. They will be stalled financially. The tower is coming in. Spirit is coming in to correct all of this situation and reverse all of this onto these people. They will be reaping karma for the next seven to 10 years. And whatever path that they're going to look for is going to always be in reverse, which is karmic. Karma. Mm-hmm. And watching you walk away is the end card. Yeah. And you're walking into happiness. And they're going to be all tied up at the bottom of the deck and can't move. Spiritual jail. Yeah, this is about to happen. Wow. Oh, that's dig on this, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Whoo. Yep. Out in the cold. Five of sacred circles. This is what they're about to end up, y'all. Wow. And the queen of... Look, the karmics. Queen of staves in reverse. Queen of staves in reverse. Karmics. It can be any karmic in your life. They're about to be out in the cold. Financially, spiritually, emotionally, when it comes to love, they're about to reap. Spirit, give us some tea. Let's, let's roll on what's going on with Divine Feminine. They infiltrated your reading. Now we're about to read. We're about to dissect this, y'all. Spirit, guys, ancestors of life, please give us some more energies when it comes to Divine Feminine. Contract in reverse. What do we have on that? Yeah, you guys, that's why rest and rejuvenation is by itself because you guys are about to find out just who's been fucking you over. Yep. They were foolish. The fool. Yes, these people were stupid. They were dumb. They were very foolish. You see the tarot card right there? Mm hmm They were doing magic on you, going to get readings, hiring people to, to do things to you to fuck you over. Mm-hmm. 
That's what was going on here. I'm sorry about the light, y'all. I wanted to do something a little bit more subtle. My energy is it's like I'm connecting better this way. Mm-hmm. Yep, and now the universe is about to invest. The universe is about to take action, right? Seven of Sacred Circles, Seven of Pentacles. They're about to invest in and um giving them reaping what they sow. Reversing. The universe is about to re invest in and reverse in this, this mess that the foolish mess that they've done to you guys back onto them. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the kind of magic that they use, if it was your masculine, that they kept you guys apart from your person, it was sex magic to control your masculine, which caused him to spiral out of control and be sexually addicted. Yeah, you guys are about to find some major stuff out. You're about to find out something that's gonna make gonna send you into rest. Yeah, you guys are about to find out something painful. The victory in reverse. Mm-hmm. Whoever this because this part and your masculine had multiple um karmics. More than just the one that he was with that in the house that he left that he made the foolish decision to leave you for and invest into that situation. He had more than just one. He had more than just one person doing magic on him. And they caused him to be a sex addict. Yeah. Over, overly sexualized. The universe is now about to take action in that situation. Your masculine is reaping karma as well. If he's still in that situation, he's going to continue to, to reap karma. Mm-hmm. Yep. No hope. No victory. That's going to be their karma. After you, when, when you, when you're going to heal from the situation, when, when some of you are already know because you're very intuitive, but they would not have a victory in the situation. There would be no healing here. You guys are this, this reading is for you guys to know who, about who's about to read karma. And I, I just, I wasn't even looking to do this type of reading today for divine feminine. I was more focused on love. What well, the universe has love for you, divine feminine, and it's getting you ready, getting you prepared for what you're about to find out. Whoever has done this to you is a star in reverse. There's no hope here. There's no healing for these people. These people, not, not, they would not have a victory. There's about to be major reversals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're jealous of you. Envy. These people, are they, they hate you for no reason. Yep. Yeah. The, the queen of um, pentacles. You're the queen of pentacles. You're a boss. You're a nurturer. You handle family, children, everything. You, you handle everything by yourself and never break. And continue to build. You're probably a business owner. Or working towards that are very high ranked in your career. You, you built yourself from the bottom up. And these people are jealous of you. You've had a lot of people around you who you loved and took care of and nurtured. You're the queen of pentacles. Oh, so. You see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see the baby in front of her? They take the Queen of Pentacles take care of everything. They're jealous of you because you never break. These people have been hating on the star. You're the star upright. They did not want you to make it to a victory, but you have worked hard for that door to happiness to open because you've done your healing and there's nothing that they can do. And now in this season, they're about to reap what they've sown. And that's the thing. People do things to you and think that they can get away with it. You guys are going to have a lot of fools coming towards you trying to apologize, okay, for what they've invested in. All the time they invested in hurting you for no reason. Mm-hmm. You guys have been backstabbed sexually too with your person that you love. They were constantly going and mixing up with other people and didn't care because they were caught up in their situation, their karmic situation. Your your master wanted you involved with his mess. Mm -hmm. He's reaping karma right now in, in his, his finances because of all the sexual energy he wasted as being a king of, a king of uh, wands in reverse. Slanging that slong everywhere. Or a vagina taking how it resonates. Yeah. Look, they were doing a lot of people were doing moon magic. Yeah. They were doing moon magic on you. 
Mm -hmm. This is also secrets that are about to be revealed about these people, these karmics. Yep. Yeah, they were foolish and thinking they can be unjust to you and be a magician in your life. But now the, now the universe is coming down and saying, no, 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 fool. Now I'm about to be a magician in your life. Karma. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, they will be, for all, all they've invested, the universe taking action. For all of the investments they did to hurt you, they worked hard, guys, to work to hurt you guys, all these people, to keep you in balance, temperance in reverse. But now the universe does not have any more patience. They're done with that. Mm-hmm. You're about to get some kind of karma. You guys are about to get some communication about somebody, some, some karmics that have done magic on you. A lot of people about to come back towards you and try to apologize to you, bottom line. I'm going to hit it like it is. Y'all about to get a lot of communication from people because they see you shining. And they want to come back towards you now to try to be with you or to make amends with you. Friends, family, whatever, whoever has crossed you, they're about to come back towards you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They won't have any victory. You guys will not be giving reconciliations to a lot of people in your life. There's no hope here for a victory because they crossed you for no reason. You guys took care of these people, Queen of Pentacles. You nurtured and loved on people, and, and if they needed anything from you, you did it. You broke your back to get it done for them, and they were jealous of you the whole time. Mm -hmm. But now they don't want you to walk away. Eight of Cups in reverse. They don't want you to walk away from them. Yep. The karmic, the moon. Yeah, the secret is one of the secrets, guys. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you. One of the secrets is you guys got a King of Pentacles coming in. You got a match coming in. Yep, the King of Sacred Circles. You guys have a match coming in. That's the universal secret. They got you guys a match coming in. Mm hmm Yeah. The high priestess. You know it. You feel it. It's coming. You know, the high priestess never speaks unless she has to. All knowing. But never says a word. Hmm. Interesting. So after all of the people that try to keep you guys messed up, they can't mess, can't steal your joy because you're still going to get everything that you deserve because you did the work. Mm -hmm. There will be no recovery for them for what they're doing, what they have done. These people are going to be stuck in karma and a recessive, <clears throat> a repetitive cycle of hurt the way they hurt you. They're about to reap that back tenfold. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them can't handle it, Divine Feminine. That's why they're trying to come towards you, trying to manifest you back. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, it's not just your Divine Masculine. Some of your Divine Masculines are transforming and coming toward you. And that's why people are also mad as well, because that, it, them trying to keep you guys apart did not work. Yep. Third parties. People, third parties can be friends. It can be family. You, you guys had haters. You see the two of cup. This is the couple, and this is the third party right here, acting like they care about them, but they're really jealous. You see the side eye. Mhm. Mm they never. They didn't. They didn't want you guys to be together. These people are feeling guilty. They're full of guilt on top of magician. Mhm. Mm they see you growing, and then, and then the balance in reverse, and for them investing the actions being taken, they're they're about to. And there's no rejection here. Because they're about to be removed. It's no point of rejection. Mm -hmm. And as I said, on top of the King of Wands here, the reaping up for that, whoever caused your masculine, whatever karmic caused your masculine to, to was doing sex magic on your masculine, they're about to have an issue with being blocked. Okay. There's some issues here. Eight of staves. There will not be any recovery with this person. They're about to reap some major karma there from messing with the divine union. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. On top of no victory and the star reverse, no hope. Three of Cups. There will be no faith here. The, you know, the divine is coming in to smack down the hammer. That's what's going on, y'all. Bottom line. The hammer's coming down, divine feminine. In your honor. Mm-hmm. In your honor. And now, they were complacent with you before. Now you're about to be complacent with these people. Wow. Mm-hmm. Some of them will not be able to stop you from walking away. You be, Because you're focused on your finances. Now you're focused on your happiness. And they're jealous because no matter what they do and send toward you, it doesn't work. Now you're the one that's complacent. And you don't care. If they're in, in or out of your life, you're not affected. You're unbothered. Yeah. And their karma, look at this. The moon is about to review the karmics, all these karmics in your life, okay? Their karma, the moon, the secret that's about to be revealed for you is that you're about to get somebody else or you're about to either get your masculine. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna have their karma is to sit back and watch it happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's about to happen here. Their, their karma is to sit back and watch it happen right in front of their face. They're going to have to sit there and watch and be tied up. All tied up. Is their karma. Spiritual jail sitting back watching you. The high priestess live their life abundantly and blessed, unbothered. You see how unbothered she is? Mm-hmm. That's what divine feminine got coming, y'all. This is a warning for you guys to know that some people are coming back. Mm-hmm. They, they, they guilty and they want some gratitude. It could be somebody close to you that got pregnant by your person who was a friend of yours or was having sex with your masculine who was a best friend of yours as well, Divine Feminine. And that person about to come back and tell you the truth. They're trying to manifest you back in their life too. It could be a long-time friend or family member, somebody close to you that had sex with your masculine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're about to have a new... Every, everything's about to be brand new and fresh for you, Divine Feminine. Because the universe is rejecting all these people and all the magic and everything that dark, that's dark that they sent towards you is reversing. Mm -hmm. They will not have any joy. No joy, no recovery. They will be reaping what they've sown. Mm -hmm. And no faith, okay? And everybody's going to gossip about them. The truth about who they are is about to come out. The secret's about to be revealed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you've accepted it all. And you're focused on you. You've accepted it. Now you're complacent. Not giving a damn. Unbothered. Mm-hmm. And these people will have to sit back and watch you happy with the person that you're about to be with. Either your masculine or a new masculine. If your masculine is not the person you're going to be with, you guys may have new love. And that may be their karma. And they'll be in deep despondence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the masculine, that's not. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not about van You're not about vanity. You got your lessons. You understand. You know what you're supposed to be doing. You have learned your lessons. And now you're about to reap your rewards. It's not about being boastful. It's not about being arrogant. It's not about being in your ego. No. Not, you guys have shed all of that by doing your healing work. The the um <clears throat> the door to healing is, is um the door to healing, guys, is upright. Which means that you've done your work. You're not boastful, you're grateful. And people are jealous. But you're about to... Um, your enemies are your footstools, bottom line. Spirit is spirit in the, in the higher power is about to um, let it be known just how much, how rewarded you're about to be. And people were... If, whoever had a child by your masculine, they were not the father of that child. They're pregnant right now. They're going to be looking for gratitude because they're about to find out but they're not the father. And that's going to send them in guilt. Okay? This person tried to manifest. They were doing magic trying to get your mask and get them pregnant. But it's not theirs. And you're moving forward on your new journey of renewal. Mm-hmm. Not worried about anything. You just let it go to the universe. Mm-hmm. And these people who have been hating on your joy, and, and they were not having a recovery. They will be blocked from all happiness. And they will not even have any love. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. Whew, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. 
because now they're gossiping because you're you guys oh my gosh guys divine feminine you are about to be the wealthy man or woman they're gonna be talking about it though everybody gonna talk about it because wondering how the gossip how how she do that how he do that it's called shadow work it's all it's called obedience it's called fighting through your path and doing your work and being who you're supposed to be and being righteous it's reward season that's what it's called mm -hmm. wealthy man or woman is what you are and you guys don't need extra third parties to spend that with you mm -mm, you don't these people are about to be in despair because now you're unbothered mm -hmm. and their karma again is despondence watching you with your new king of pentacles or your masculine however it resonates for your story despondence and karma and being broke with no wealth or happiness in their life and you guys can expect that to happen very soon it's expectations it's about to happen very soon guys let's get a couple of these um cards over here see what we got i'm also check for love right quick too get a couple of those to see before we get out of here i want to catch it before it cuts off these things be timed okay Trying to catch it and learn how to do it. Yeah, we got a little bit of time here. Okay. We got time for the message, Divine Feminine. Spirit Ancestors of Life, please give me some. Yeah, it's been a lot of secrets that's about to be revealed, y'all. About babies, about people that have, have um backstabbed you in your family that you know, that you've been there for. You have best friends that have slept with your have slept with your masculine or your feminine. I mean, your, your mask, whoever in the masculine energy, they backstabbed you because they were jealous. Some, all these people that hurt you were always jealous of you. But now you know that as the high priestess. You know it now. Yeah. They're about to be tied up and bound where they can't move. Mm-hmm. Spirit says for you to just breathe. Once this stuff goes down, they want you to breathe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Release control and just let it let it flow. It's gonna hurt. Some some of it may hurt, and some of you may not be bothered by it. Yeah, yeah. And these people, they will not have any opportunity. They will not have any blessings of abundance. Any nothing will flow for them. Yeah, they're about to have a total shutdown. No recovery. Mm hmm. No joy. Mm hmm. Yeah. And their darkest fears <laughs> is to have you as a, as a wealthy person. Yeah, that's why they talk. They're gossiping. Yeah, they don't want you to be hit with the wealth. That's, that's their darkest fear. That's a damn shame. People that hateful. Their darkest fear is for you to be successful. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. And they're in despair because you have clarity about the situation and you're okay with it. Once it comes in, you're going to digest it. You're going to go into rest and rejuvenation so that you can digest it and download it, whatever this is that's coming your way. You're going to heal from it because you've learned how to heal. You've learned how to shed and heal things, divine feminine. You've learned how to not hold on to things. You've learned how to hold value onto things because things are just things. You, Of course, you like nice things. You deserve nice things, but you're not focused on that and ego, pride, and arrogance. Mm-hmm. These people here, they're about to be upset because whoever's coming in as your king of pentacles is going to give dedica dedicated effort to make it work with you. If it's your master, he's going to work his ass off. If it's a new man, he's going to man or woman, they're going to give you everything you're supposed to have. Yep. And what are they going to be doing? Left, feeling all alone and lost. That's what their future is. Mm hmm. Yeah. They don't pay to be dirty. They don't pay. They're about to be, they, these people are in deep regret right now. Mm-hmm, and sorrow. They feel the change coming. And they know it's not in their favor. They have to sit, they're blocked. And they've been trying to still try magic on you because now Saturn is here. And it thinks the, the ending of this cycle right here, Aquarius Moon, everything after this brings whatever karma, good or bad for you for the next seven to 10 years. Yes, look, just breathe. I told you guys, friendship. Somebody that you guys were friends with, close with, fucked your masculine. Mm-hmm. Yep. They, they screwed your masculine. Some of them had kids and said it was theirs. It's not theirs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guilt. They're, the second time. Yeah. 
Yeah, probably a best friend. Mm-hmm. And as far as them having opportunities, they won't have it. They're going to always be a side piece. Just something to do. Why they watch you in a relationship? A real relationship. If this person screwed your masculine, this was meant to happen, y'all. It was meant to happen that way to remove this person out of your life because they was not a real person to you. They were not a real friend. And at the time, you were going through a transformation, so you were not in your high priestess energy. You did not even know. But then a lot of you got downloaded with it about it. I've been there, honey. Been there? Know that. Okay? The high priestess know everything. Yes. That's why my friends list is very small now. Yes, and their darkest fears, the darkest fears is for you being um, the wealthy man or woman. And they don't have any peace in their life because of they stressed out because they, they fucked up. Yeah, they, they did the wrong person wrong. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, not being honest. Honesty in reverse. Not being honest. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And whoever you, whoever's come back to you, they're they're swallowing their pride. They're they're they were scared. They're actually intimidated by you a little bit because you are the Queen of Pentacles, and they see your strength. They know you're also a high priestess. They know you're very gifted. This person, you are a different type of person for them. The person that's coming towards you, even if it's your masculine, they're a little intimidated by you because you are gifted. Okay, and then and if it's your masculine, it's because they hurt you. And, and you know, and you're the high priestess now, so you know everything that they've done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're trying to drop their fear. They're trying to kill the fear so that they can come towards you. Mm-hmm. And they're a little worried if it's your masculine coming back. Mm-hmm. They are. Yep. Let's see what we got for new love right quick. Yeah. That, that everything happens for a reason, guys. Yep. Whoever this was that your masculine left you for was an unrequited love situation. It was never any love there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was all about finances and career. And they ended up without any finances. Yep. That's why they're in fear to come toward you. If you guys are talking to your masculine, they're still afraid. They're, they're, they're still wearing a mask. They're not being honest. But they're, they don't have any peace until they make it right with you because that's the way the spirit has it designed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Friend, you guys have new love. You could be talking to a new person. It's coming in, y'all. On top of friendship, it could be somebody who you were cordial and friends with or known for a long time or getting to know. That person can be your new love. Mm -hmm. We also, on top of guilt, Lord have mercy, y'all. Look at this. On top of guilt, we got reconciliation. So masculine coming in, too. Oh! <laughs> Right next to each other. New love and reconciliation. Yes. You, you, masculine coming in and a new person. Wow. Mm-hmm. And somebody coming in to propose on top of relationships. You got engagement coming in. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they, they cannot live in the situation. If it's your masculine, they're not peaceful. They can't rest. They, their darkest fears is you moving on. And they can't rest. Your masculine is stressed out. Mm-hmm. So if he walking around cool like he okay, he not. Mm-mm. Because he think that you, he don't want you to call in a new soulmate. He know you guys are wishing for new love. Him or her. Take it how it resonates. Yep. He wasn't, the, the, your masculine wasn't being honest with themselves. They was fronting in a relationship that was not for their highest good. Yep. Not being honest. Look. They were not being honest about past life relationships, about you, about how they felt about you. Honesty in reverse and past life relationships in reverse. Your masculine was not believing in you guys' union because of the magic. They were up on the magic too. Mm -hmm. That's why spirits say keep an open mind, right? About them being in fear. They need to keep an open mind and do what they need to do to come towards you to fix the situation. It's up to them for them to give effort. It's not up to you. Or they're going to lose you to another king of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Because either one either one of these soulmates, your masculine, your, your twin flame or your soulmate is going to be true love for you. That's what we got. Hmm. I like a divine feminine. Beautiful reading. You guys got some competition. You got some friends coming back. You got some people coming back because they scared of their karma. Okay, so just be aware. 
Keep this energy strong, okay? Stand in your high priestess energy. Mm-hmm. Because they all tied up and they scared. Uh-huh. Yeah, expect it. A lot of them want to heal. They don't want to they don't want to be a thief from you no more. And your masculine and the person's coming in wants to marry you. Mm-hmm. Let's see you as a great fortune. Now they see your value. They want to come out of karma. Once your masculine clears up this karma, he'll be transformed into the emperor. Mm-hmm. Going down the correct pathway. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Some of you won't even expect to happen, but it's happening now. Your master's making a decision. That's about to be a hell of a shift up in here, y'all. We got new love and reconciliation. This shit about to get thick. You're going to have two love offers at one time. And you may have two engagements. Because we got wedding and engagement. Whew. Universe. That's what we got, y'all. I love you. I thank you. Woo! Divine Feminine. Oh, my goodness. Ew! <laughs> y'all played about to be full. It's about to get interesting. With these secrets coming out. Of, but you guys have healed enough to, to handle this. The universe knows that you've healed enough. To make the right decision. Just rest and think. Discern. And then make your decision. Alright? I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Namaste.